We're going to talk a little bit about uh, LinkedIn today, mm -hmm. too. Are you a person that's LinkedIn? I'm LinkedIn, but I haven't used it much, so I don't exactly know how it applies to this. Yeah, and so how many LinkedIn folks do you have? Uh, probably you just know? about 10, and I think they're all my coworkers that I currently have right now. Oh, there you go. So you come here, and they make you get LinkedIn. <laughs> now you know if you come to Blue Earth Interactive, you got to get LinkedIn. Well, um, the thing that we want to spotlight with LinkedIn, one of the we cover in a different uh, episode of Civic Training, why to, why you should be LinkedIn. But in this particular okay. episode, what we really want to talk about is LinkedIn groups. And what LinkedIn groups, what's unique about the whole LinkedIn groups piece is you can ask questions, you can create a group, and um, what's really kind of fun, again, you see our logo and we are always um, displaying that so for the familiarity and branding, right? But we go to LinkedIn groups and when you're managing your group, you can see that you can have discussions, add news, add jobs, those kinds of things. You can have subgroups, so if you've got committees, those kinds of things. This is a great place to have all those conversations and aggregate that information without having to invest in some big web tool because we know that um, web platforms are amazing and we love them because that's what we do. Um, however, a lot of civic groups are smaller and can't afford them and so sure. there's really now these um, applications who are out that are out there that people can use that can augment what didn't wasn't able to happen before. So now we're still building. We're a week out of our event, and you can see that over the last seven days we've got a new member, we've got a couple new discussions, and um, we can continue to add people, manage, etc. So that gives you a little cool. snapshot of what LinkedIn groups can be about um, for civic groups. So, Fantastic. so Jerry. Any other big <laughs> questions about these two cool tools that can give you an idea no, of how to build a civic community? No, I think I get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, this has been Wendy Meadley and Jerry Jacobson for the National Civic Summit and another civic training episode this time on building civic communities. How many times can you say civic? <laughs>